Information? I have it. Do you need it? My prices are competitive. All right. Now, show me your map. There is a place... here. That's all I have for now.
this area is off limits.
What have you got for me today? Nothing else I can do for you? I have to go. See you soon. Until next we meet. Good day. Take me, A4. Our victories will order God's Raise themselves. With me, warrior, for plunder, glory, and Valhalla. While you were away, your Jomsvikingar helped to serve other Jarls. Here is the tribute they earned. All right, bring out my lieutenant. Would like to reorganize the crew. Done? I was Tarbin. Eivor! Shall we go? I can lend a hand. That's a relief. I did not fancy asking Holger. 
Carbon, what brought you to our clan? Your reputation. Heard folk say a band of hard-drinking, battle-scarred warriors had washed up on shore. Said you had settled in the center of Mercia. Taking in whatever floatsome, jetsome, and jumble of misfits came to your docks. And this appealed to you? More than anything. Always been a bit of a drifter. The thought of settling in a rowdy camp felt like a good balance. And being a baker, I knew my services would not be sniffed at. I did not take you for a baker when we met. You have the look of someone who swings an axe. <laughs> I do hear that a lot. But baking is your only craft, is that right? I have always enjoyed it. And I have always been good at it. But when I'm not able to find such work, I take odd jobs where I can. So long as I can work with my hands. Well, we have that in common. Question, Eivor. You're a warrior. A fighter. That much I know. But if you could stop fighting, what would you do? You ask the wrong question. I can stop fighting. But to do so would be to deny the essence of who I am. I think you mean, if I had to stop fighting, what would I become? No, you've given me the answer I wanted. It's good you found what calls you. A rare and happy thing. Yes, yes, I see you both. What can I...? It's you. Well, what are you doing in Mercia? Collecting grain. Thirty silvers worth, if you can spare it. I do have the coin. Right. Well... Take what you need and get going. That should cover it. Thank you kindly. Of course. And you, uh... You take good care of yourself. Yeah? Is that your usual vendor? He seemed a little surprised to see you. Did he? Well, could be he knows somebody who looks like me. There's no shortage of big bearded men around here, yeah? I suppose not. About your question earlier, what would I do if I weren't a warrior? I would ask the same of you. Is baking bread your greatest wish? Is there something wrong with wanting to bake bread? The Romans baked bread. The Egyptians baked bread. It is a fine trade. But is it your calling? It is my calling to feed people, I'd say. To be of service to those I care for. And who care for me? That brings me joy. But that way, it is a noble pursuit. I don't know that it's noble. It is simply what gets me up in the morning and gives me purpose for the rest of my day.
Need help with your grain? No need, no need. I'll do the rest myself. Bring it in and put it where I like. All right. It was good to speak with you, Tarbin. A welcome diversion. You too, Eivor. Thank you for your help. Petra, good day. Ah, you're back. Go ahead. For the past few evenings, I've heard the howling of a pack of wolves just beyond the border of our woods. Unchecked, they will ravage the wild game in this area. And once the deer are dead, they may turn to us. You feel we should drive them off? I would eliminate them entirely, with your permission, of course. And your help, if possible. A good idea. I will join you now. Good. A pack of wolves is a foolish thing to underestimate. Let's go. This way. I last saw them prowling around just up the hill. You lead. I'll follow. Our settlement is in quite a nice spot. Beautiful terrain, and the animals here are healthy and populous. But wolves are a worry. It may be why the Ragnarsons moved on. Humans upset the balance of nature, and nature pushed back. By attacking us. A wolf will do whatever it takes. They were displaced. Now they come to our door. Come this way. Look here. Breadcrumbs and crusts. They must have stolen something from Tarbin's store, or off a table somewhere. You saw breadcrumbs from where you stood. They stand out clearly from the soil and grass. See there? Come, this way. Ah, smell that. That's a male wolf, marking his territory, warding off the competition. How do you know it's a male? A different odor. You pick it up. How did you come to be such a skilled tracker? My family were hunters and trackers from further east than you've ever seen, I imagine. But I've lived in England for most of my life. This is where we found Wallace. You two are siblings, as Sigurd and I are siblings. Bound by honor, not blood. Yes. To hear my mother tell it, we came upon Wallace abandoned, a babe in the woods. We took him in. Look, the wolves made a kill here. They're in the area. Those trails. They must have dragged the poor beast away. We're getting closer. Ah, see those teeth marks on the carcass? They're different. This is the pack's doing, not just one. That's right. Let's go on. 
So your family found Wallace in the woods? We were traveling through the forest when I spotted a white elk ahead of us. I chased it, hoping to take it down. I lost it as I came to a clearing. And there on the ground was a wee babe, our little Wallace, swaddled and alone. Ah, look at that, the pattern on the grass. They slept here. I'm impressed, Petra. You have a raw skill. You have seen nothing just yet. So, you saw a white elk, and that led you to Wallace? That's right. It felt fated. We took him in and nursed him back to health. I was scarcely more than a toddler myself then. And from that day forward, we were raised as brother and sister. Hmm. These kills are fresh. They're likely near enough to hear us. Probably fled the scene not long ago. I think we found our wolves. You there. Get to cover. Eivor, with me. Let's end this. I'm at your side. should be all of them. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, both of you. Are you all right? Were those your sheep? They were. God take them. They were all I had in the world. Poor blighters never stood a chance. I lost my cows some months back. Now the sheep are gone. Frowning Jesus, what sort of farmer am I? I'm sorry for your loss. With the wolves gone, you can recover in peace. Not without the blessings of God, I won't. But I shall try. You have your life, farmer. With that alone, you can always rebuild. Ava, hold. I hear something. What? I don't... Oh, oh goodness gracious me! Felix! Rosemary! My beauties! You're alive! Come here, my precious angels! Well, that worked out. This was planned, Eivor. You have to be nice as well as you fight. Give me a few weeks, I'll learn to track as well as you. Or better. I would be happy to be so humbled. This was a joy, Petra. Do not hesitate to call on me the next time you spot any errant beasts. You were the first on my list, Eivor. See you soon.
I will show you feet of me, strength warrior. to rival Let gold. gold and glory be our meat and meat. Not an 
en l'écho. building a boat to carry my family to safety one day. And what of the orphans you left behind? Do they get a boat? A brigade of bastards. They are the only ones left ruling England. My people were of the Wiccan kingdom. Now we are ruled by Christ-beaten bastards. Welcome. 
Egypti Pharaoni condemnabitur in processus cum propes calcia menta sunt mala magna que
Yeah. <laughs> 